Experience an evening of innovation to engage with a new generation of yacht owners. Revolutionize the industry as we know it and place yourself at the leading edge of the trend curve. This is Vreethink's Night Out. This is your future. I'd like to show you a snippet of what the future might look like. But before I do that, let me tell you a story. Last summer, I was on holiday in Greece, and I had to be home by Monday morning. However, this meant that on Saturday night, everything had to be ready and packed up because we needed the full Sunday to get back home. We needed to drive to the airport, wait at the airport, fly back home, drive back home, everything. So on Saturday night, before I went to bed, there was only one thing I could think about. I just want to be home already. And I think it's a very relatable feeling, because if there's anything I hate, it is wasting vacation days on traveling. So when I was sitting at the airport, I was thinking to myself, because I had quite a lot of time to think, and I was thinking, what could be a solution for this? And I even took a step back and I looked at the bigger picture and I was thinking like, what are aspects that make any solution a great solution? What are aspects that are needed to make some things great? And I came up with three elements. The first one has been discussed quite a few times tonight and it's sustainability. And I think that it is crucial that we really think about how we can impact the future in a better way. It is so important that we're aware of the impact that we can have by the choices that we make right now. So I think that sustainability should definitely be up in the row of elements that are crucial to make any solution great. The second one is comfort. Because a solution is not really a solution if there's a loss of comfort. People will not like or use your solution if it's not better than what, than what they're used to now. So we need to make sure that all solutions that we think of have a level of comfort that is at least as good, preferably even better than what we have right now. And the third one is a bit of a personal one. I'm an engineering student and I really like things to be exciting. I need this excitement factor in all solutions that we think of. It needs to be new and innovative and, and this, these new concepts that make people enthusiastic about the future because if there's anything we need, it is people to be enthusiastic about the future. So I think these are the three elements that make a solution great. Let's take it back to what I said earlier. What if we connect these three elements to traveling? And what if I told you about a new way of transportation that ticks all of these boxes. Let me introduce to you the Hyperloop concept. Hyperloop is a new mode of transportation where vehicles travel in vacuum tubes using magnetic levitation. And because the tubes are vacuum, there's hardly any air resistance. And because it makes use of magnetic levitation, there's also no rolling resistance. And this results in Hyperloop vehicles being able to travel at speeds up to 1,000 kilometers an hour. So, I said, it ticks all of these boxes. But how? The first one was sustainability. And the lack of air resistance and rolling resistance doesn't only result in very high speeds. It also results in operating at a very high level of energy efficiency making Hyperloop more sustainable than the current solutions that we have right now. The second one was comfort. Traveling with a Hyperloop is as easy as taking a train. It almost feels like taking a train, because you arrive at the station, you choose your destination, and you depart. It's a turn-up-and-go system. And there's also another aspect of comfort, because you can travel at speeds as fast as a plane. So this combines the best of both worlds. This makes sure that when you're traveling with Hyperloop, it is as convenient as a train and as fast as a plane. And the last aspect was this excitement factor. And Hyperloop is a, is a new concept. It's a new idea. It's this new wind of innovation that goes through the world of transportation and that gives a new insight. It's a breath of fresh air. 
And it makes me excited, and it makes people excited about traveling in the future. But you might notice that I'm saying the word future quite often tonight. And you might ask, what can we do now to get to that future? And this is where us as a team come in the picture. I'm part of a student team that competes in the Hyperloop pod competition. And what we do is we design and build a pod that will race at the competition and that will push the limits of technology. Because there's so many more technologies that need to be developed in order to get to that future. And that's what we do now. We try to, to push that technology because there's no better way of accelerating the development of technology than triggering engineering students with the competition. But there's more that we do. We also look ahead. We look at the future and we're really trying to think, what can we do to prepare us for such a future? How would that future look like? So we research it and we engineer it and we design it to make sure that we have all that we need right now in order to be prepared at the best for such a future. And we also visualize what a future with Hyperloop might look like. Because we need to get people used to the idea of traveling with the Hyperloop. We need to get them enthusiastic about it. Because as a team, we have a why. We have a reason of why we make so many sacrifices for this project. It's why we're willing to put everything on the line in order to reach our goal. It's why we do what we do. And it's this. We want to pioneer an inspiring future. That's the vision of us as a team. Everything we do fits within that vision. And we do what we can right now. And we also look ahead. So we compete at the competition and we build this Hyperloop pod for that competition. But we also engineer that future. And like I said, one of the things that we do is visualize the future. For example, here you see the interior of a Hyperloop pod vehicle in the future. And remember that I told you I was going to show you a snippet of what the future might look like. Well, here you go, a future with Hyperloop. Thanks.